Hi there, my name is Mark Price and this is the fifth video in the Sound Dao Yin video series. Um, as always, I shall start by saying if this is the first video that you've seen and done, please go back to video number one and do that one because it covers some of the foundational basics that we use throughout the entirety of the series. Today's sound is called Zhi. Um, it's spelled Z-H-I. Um, <clears throat> Zhi. So the H usually softens the Z sound um, to produce the Z kind of sound. Or Z sound. However, it's pronounced Sen. So in this case, it's spelled, we would spell that sound Z-H-E-N. And in this case, the H is actually pronounced as a H, so it's Z N Zen. <clears throat> and um, the way this works is um, let's just think about the shape of the mouth to make this sound. The way this works is you start with the tongue on the palate, so um, sort of touching the sort of front of the palate just behind the teeth, the top teeth. Uh, and then, so that's the tss, and then the E. Eh, is kind of like an open mouth, so that the tongue moves forwards from the palate, so it zzzz, and then releases to make the e eh sound, and then touches the the back of the bottom teeth at the front there, as we make the n sound, and then of course the back of the tongue will then touch the top of the palate. So you're kind of sliding the tongue forwards in a kind of a that kind of fashion where it's. So starting at the top and then sliding down and then touching on the bottom teeth, but with the back of the tongue then gently closing the mouth at the top of the palate at the back there. So the sound is thin. Now, of course, as always, there are two foundational principles. There is our posture and then there is our movement. The movement is um, coordinated with the breathing, yeah? So, sitting posture, same as per usual. Watch the first video for a full revision, but basically you've got your feet parallel. They're around about hip width apart. We usually say shoulder width apart, but if you can't see that, then you, you can use the hips. They're slightly wider than the hips, yeah? And the, the feet are back behind the knees. You're sitting forwards in your chair. Sitting forwards in the chair and you're bringing the weight, about 50% of your body weight, into the feet so that um, basically you lean slightly forwards from the hip joints. So you're not bowing the back, you're just completely, so the pivot point is in the hip joints. So there's a subtle lean forwards there so that you can bring the weight forwards into the feet. 50% of the weight, the rest of it in the sit bone as usual, yeah? So that's how you sat. And then the breathing uses what we call reverse abdominal breathing. So when we breathe in, we lift the pelvic floor up, we pull the navel back, and we kind of send our breath, or we imagine sending your breath up the spine into the head, or at least into the throat area. Yeah, so that's your in-breath. And then the out-breath <coughs> is the opposite. Yeah, the, the breath, you, you sort of imagine the breath coming back down the spine. So part of that is when you're breathing in, you're contracting the abdomen, you have to inflate the lungs still, so you have to stretch open the chest and shift the shoulders further apart. Yeah, and then as you breathe out, then you can just let the, all that just relax. We let all this, apart from the pelvic floor, relax as well. So when you're breathing out, the pelvic floor stays lifted up, but you're relaxing down and you're kind of sending this signal, if you like, with your body movement down in towards the belly. You'll find that rolling the shoulders slightly a little bit as you're doing that causes the collarbones to sort of move down like this and it kind of, sorry, I'm, I'm, there we go, <laughs> we kind of, uh, it's a bit like a pointer or this way please, this direction, so that's the way you want it to go, okay? <clears throat> but for details, see the first video. So that's the breathing. The breathing obviously works together with the sound and um, the posture just kind of helps all of that movement take place properly. Okay, so using all of that together, let me demonstrate to you the sound. So I'm going to sit 
properly. My arms are just going to dangle by the side, by the way, and then I'm going to breathe in. Formulate the shape in the mouth. Sing! Okay, so one little detail on this. When you're when you when you're making the ng, when you're making the ng, actually not the ng, but the ng part of that sound, that's when you're breathing out, and you're sending uh, the sound into here, into the chest area, the chest cavity, but also um, you're kind of sending it up into the mouth. So you're sort of creating two centres of sound, one in the chest, one in the mouth area. Okay. Um, let's try that again. Yeah. So sitting forwards. Try it with me this time. Yeah. Sitting forwards, breathing in. Formulate that initial initial position in the mouth, and then sing. There. Good. So. As always, I tell you a little bit of background about this, about the sound. Um, each of the different sounds that we work with uh, correspond to particular organs in the traditional Chinese medicine system. This sound corresponds with the heart. Yeah, so hence we're sending it into the chest area. Okay, I know the heart's a little bit to the side but we're sending it down here. This is where we consider the heart to be in TCM. <clears throat> but of course, remember that we are using this system because we know that it influences uh, Parkinson's in a positive way. Uh, so from a Western medicine perspective, um, it influences the do dopamine uh, response and release, we believe. So this is the reason why we picked out this exercise system. But also remember that you know, TCM has been around for uh, many, many years, many hundreds of years. Um, so although they don't use the same techniques in their research, um, it's been tried and at least they found that it doesn't harm you, <laughs> which is always a bonus. But also they must have found that it helps as well. And in their research, they found that it helps. This particular sound helps the heart organ. That is the heart organ within the TCM system as opposed to our physical heart but it's roughly the same place in the centre of the chest. Okay, now we're gonna have a go at doing this three times together. Are you with me and are you ready? Breathing in. Sing. And again. Sing. And one more go. Sing. Okay, so as I'm doing that, I'm noticing something, and that's this. Uh, I, I said that we vibrate in the chest, with, uh, the, the sort of heart centre, and we're vibrating the mouth. But actually, this vibration in the mouth, you may notice, is travelling upwards into the head. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. If it's not, and it's just in the mouth, that's fine too. But uh, if you can feel it starting to travel upwards, then you're getting a good reaction to this. The other thing I want to mention, which I mention every time, I think, is that um, with these sounds, you'll start to notice a calming effect to it. Now, I have to give you a caveat here. Not all of the sounds we have will do that, but this one is one of those sounds that does that. So with the next video, we're going to do a sound that does something else. We'll talk about that then. But here, this also has a calming effect. Um, so uh, in a sort of holistic sense, we say that this, this sort of vibration in the chest area opens the heart. Yeah, so we're opening the heart. So you'll start to feel this sensation of peace, this inner peace, yeah, calm. Let's try it three more times and see if we can start noticing that as well, yeah. Are you ready? 
Sing. 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 Okay, so some more crib notes for this sound. Um, with some of the sounds when we're sending down, we go down, 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 and our tone goes down all the time. Yeah, we're going gradually further and further and further down with our tone as, as we're moving the sound down the body. Here, the sound only goes this far. So the tone doesn't need to go um, down too far. You know, you, you start off with set, and then you go, mm, and then when you get to the heart, when you feel the sound traveling down to the heart area, then, um, then you don't have to go down in turn any further. You can try it and see what happens. Ideally, what we're doing here is we're fine tuning to maximize the response that we're looking for. And with the sound down in, what you really wanna do is, is adopt uh, the, the, this conceptual approach that they're taking where, okay, we want to focus vibrations on particular parts of the body. And in this case, we want to focus primarily the vibrations in this part of the body. So changing the tone to tune it so that that, that part vibrates is really what you're after. But you'll probably find that that tone is going to reach a certain point where you've maximized the vibration in this area, and then you can just hold it there until you run out of breath. Okay, let's do three more. And then maybe we'll get some more crib notes. So breathing in. Sing. 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 Okay, another point. This time it's about the posture, yeah? Uh, we make this posture uh, because, again, we want to maximize the effect of the sound. We want to really make the sound work where we want it to work. Again, in this case, it's in the chest area. So, this part of the spine this is the part of the spine we really want to make sure is open. So the reason we sit like this, the reason why we put weight in our feet is because we want to push up. Now you're pushing upwards into the ground, even though you're sat down, even though some of your weight's still in your bum, you're still pushing up and creating a force that's coming up through the body. The reason we're doing that is because we want to expand the spine. We want to separate the vertebral bodies in our spinal column because those those spaces are where the vibration can happen, yeah? Okay, so um, you wanna to try to get the region of your vertebral column that's behind this part of your body to be as open as possible. So that's the bit that you wanna be focusing in on. The other thing is that uh, I find, and hopefully you'll find this too, that as the sound moves, that's where you focus your mind, yeah? So when we make the set sound, your mind is in there, in the mouth, and it's going to be anyway, because that's where we're articulating the sound from, that's where we're starting. And then we're gonna move it down, we're moving our mind down, and, and you will find that it will travel down with the sound. So, also what's happening here is, or should be happening for you to fine tune this, is that you're stretching from here, from here. So you're creating a stretch, and the stretch is gradually growing. So you might start with just a small area of focus of where you're opening the spine. And then as the sound travels down, that area grows, 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 grows. And then you focus in on this area. This then, because you're doing it like this, this then helps the sound to travel back up, as I was saying at the start, either to the mouth or better still, up into the head. 
So then we're creating kind of two centres of, uh, of vibration. Okay, now, I'm not expecting you to get all of this first go. Um, I'm just telling you these things because when you go away and practice this, and I really do heartily recommend that you, you practice beyond just following these videos, you actually have a go at doing these sounds. Pick a favourite one, actually. You know, if there's one that you prefer over all the others, then go for that to begin with, but then start bringing the other ones in as well. So when you practice this, then you're likely to start noticing these, um, these slight uh, um, details, if you like. Uh, and as you notice them, you think, oh yeah, I remember Mark saying that. Let's, let's have a play with that. So if you're getting it now, great. If you're not, don't worry, it, that these things will come to you as, you as you practice them and start to perfect them a bit more. Okay, shall we do some more sounds? Now, we're going to do quite a few sounds now to finish off. Um, and we're going to try to aim for achieving this inner peace, this nice calming effect, which we're not going to get straight away with just three sounds. We need to do a few of them um, to really get that. And hopefully you'll, you'll sort of see the beginning of that or feel the beginning of that with this video. But again, when you go away and practice, then you'll feel that a lot more strongly. Okay, let's give it a go then. Breathing in. Sing. Sing. Remember to keep the pelvic floor lifted up all the way through. Sing. Remember to keep the shoulders separated. Sing. 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 One more. Make it a good one. Sing. There. So, hopefully a nice gentle feeling. You'll get it a lot stronger if you practice this and do it for longer. Um, and there was something else I was going to say, but I'm feeling so calm now and relaxed that I've completely forgotten what it was. But no doubt it will pop up again in one of the next videos. So, okay. uh, As ever, it's a pleasure to be here with you and uh, thank you for watching. And I look forward to uh, talking to you again soon.